I was just meditating deep divers in the heart of nature and it suddenly dawned upon me that there are a lot of people diving deep. Like this is contagious right now. I keep seeing deep divers everywhere. And that's a good thing. Peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. You can see us in the short sleeve Picasso shirt. We are out here in the heart of nature. Another gorgeous day. We're just, woo, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Deep divers, I'm sending you tons of good vibes. Take that, take that, take that. Have you heard of the Emerald Tablets, Deep Divers? Now, we have a lot to dive into. Have you heard of the Kabbalion? Okay, we have a lot to dive into. I'm about to share with you hermetic principles that I follow that have helped me manifest so much beyond my wildest imagination. Seven Hermetic teachings and principles you have to know about to become your greatest version, to live your best life. Are you ready, deep divers, to dive into the Emerald Tablets? Oh, baby! The cat down the road is, and we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? Hey. So wonderful deep divers, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey. Wisdom is power. And when you realize it's all about you knowing that this universe, this universe we live in has rules. That's right, like the universe didn't wait for a human being to create a rule. No, the universe has already made rules. The universe is built on rules. It's built on principles. Rules can be broken, Ralph, absolutely. But when you realize that in this universe, everything is governed by divine mathematics. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Now, Let's take a trip down memory lane. No, deep divers, let's take a trip to the ancient world in Sumeria. Okay, which is modern day Iraq. Let's take a trip to the ancient world of Kemet, which is called Egypt today. In the ancient world, I want you to imagine a world before time a world before borders and boundaries, a world where anything was possible. It was a lot different than how it is today. People were more in tune with themselves, okay? People were more in tune with themselves, like a lot of silence all around you. No buildings, no car pollution, just that, woo! Good ass prana, baby. Now, in ancient Kemet or Egypt, you had in the mythology, Ra, the sun god. He had a son, okay? From the lips of Ra, some would also say from the heart of Ra came Thoth, okay? And Thoth, if you've ever seen, if you've ever seen the Egyptian god Thoth. It's got that long beak, like the ibis, which is that bird with that long beak, okay? And Thoth was the god of writing, the god of wisdom, the god of magic, the divine messenger. In fact, it was Thoth who was described as the Lord of Scribes. And actually, 
made Ra's wisdom manifest to the 3D. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. And Thoth shared with the world the Emerald Tablets, which was a whole vast resource of knowledge, of secret ways of how the universe works. Okay? And they were like teachings that if you follow these teachings, you're going to be able to do a little samba, baby. Now, when the Greeks went into Egypt or Kemet, they got so inspired, they had their own version of Thoth. And they called Thoth Hermes, okay? Hermes Trismegistus, which means three times great or thrice great. Hermes, god of writing. When you realize that in the Greek mythology, Hermes has a caduceus, okay? A caduceus, which is a staff, which is also linked to medicine because Hermes is also the healer. And the staff, the caduceus, has two snakes, right? Which is actually a representation of the two sides, two hemispheres of our brain. <laughs> and then the Romans said, wait a minute, let's do our version. And they had Mercury, okay? <laughs> So, after that, <laughs> there was actually a book published called The Kabbalion, which really talked about these ancient hermetic principles. And even in my book, Feel Alive by Ralph Smart, I also talk about the hermetic principles and the great teachings of Thoth or Hermes, okay? And we're going to go over seven hermetic teachings. And if you learn these teachings, you will attract more wealth, more health, more happiness, more love, more peace of mind, because these teachings contain within them the blueprint for eternal life. Can I get a hello? So let's dive into the first Hermetic principle that was passed to us from Thoth in the Emerald Tablets. And it is this, the principle of mentalism. Now, the principle of mentalism states that the all is mind. Everything is mental. Now, what do we mean by this and how can we use this in a practical way to manifest tangible goods in our life, okay? The all is mind. Deep divers. If I was to ask you, where does reality exist? Where would you say? Ralph, reality exists out there. But deep divers, there is no out there without in here. Mm. Without in here. Slow motion this side. Mm. So, in ancient Egypt, in the mystery schools, they realized that reality is perception. Reality comes from your mindset. That's why we all experience reality in a totally different way. They knew that thoughts create reality. There is no reality without you thinking it into existence. The all is mind. Out there cannot exist without here. You are creating the world by observing it. And this is what they talk about now in quantum physics. Just by observing a particle, you actually change the whole experiment. The out there can't exist without the in here. 
And when you realize all is mental, there have been cases, deep divers, where someone is stuck under a car, okay? And someone sees it and they, they just get this miraculous strength from out of nowhere and lift up the car. They were able to change their mind, so therefore they changed their reality and said, actually, anything is possible. Ralph Smart, I said, look, deep divers, I can manifest. I can get a YouTube gold award because all is mental. So when you learn the power of mentalism, you will attract more wealth, happiness and harmony into your life because all is mental. It's all a mind state. It's all a mindset. Change your mind and you change your world. What is the second? Oh, baby. Hermetic principle. Passed to us from the great Tahuti, the God of wisdom. The principle of correspondence. Now, once again, in the ancient world, deep divers, they were not only sun gazers, they were stargazers. I've been to Egypt. And on a dark night, you see so many stars, so beautiful. In the desert, I've been there. Amazing, humbles you. But you begin to learn about this principle they were talking about in the ancient world. Now, the law of correspondence is all about as above, so below. So below, as above, as within, so without, as without, so within. Now, what am I talking about here? They realize that three stars on Orion's belt are aligned with the pyramids, right? <laughs> they actually aligned it to the three stars on Orion's belt. Realize this. They realize that how you feel internally is what you will experience externally. Because once again, there is no world out there. There is only a world happening in here. That's why they said in the Matrix, what is real but electrical signals interpreted by your brain. So, this whole meaning of as above, so below, everything you find in the ocean, you will find on the land. And everything you see on the land, you will find in the ocean. Everything you see in the heavens are here on earth. And everything on earth is in the heavens. Everything out there is a reflection of what is inside of you. Do you know, deep divers, that all this technology we use is based on the human body? A camera, a lens is our eye. Speakers are our ears. Mm. Stop it, Ralph. Slow motion this side. Mm. Okay. Everything around us is us in actuality. Imitates us. Mimics us. Because as above, so below. As within, so without. Now, how can we use this? in a practical way to live our best lives, to become our greatest version, to move through 2020 and beyond. Listen very closely. I'm very mindful of my energy, the vibes I send out there. If I'm angry inside of me, if I hate myself, I'm going to hate everything around me. If I love myself, I'm also going to love everything around me. So realize this today. If you want love, 
embody that vibration. If you want peace out there, peace has to start within you. If you want to see a change in the world, oh baby, the change has to start within you. Deep divers, do you know that when I became more peaceful within myself, everything around me became so peaceful? I'm like, whoa! Then I realized, as above, so below. As within, so without. When I was really moody at one, one point in my life, hating everything about myself, the world started to turn against me. So the world is a mirror of what is happening within you. That's the law of correspondence. There is no out there. That's what they knew in the ancient world. It's all an illusion. The only true world is the world within yourself. Let me just say this. The greatest form of wealth is your peace of mind. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Deep divers, what is a third? Hermetic principle that will help you live your best life. That will help you become your greatest version. That will make you wealthier, happier, healthier, full of happiness. It is the principle of vibration. And from the emerald tablet, from the emerald tablets, okay, from the emerald tablets, Thoth stated that nothing rests, okay? Everything is moving. Yes, we are. Everything is vibrating. Now, check this out, deep divers. Quantum physicists will tell you the same thing, that nothing is actually solid. Everything is vibrating. So how did they know that in the ancient world, what quantum physicists are only now starting to discover and touch the tip of the iceberg? So they knew that everything is vibration. Check this out, deep divers. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. That's a sound vibration. Words are spells. Words are vibrations. Now, listen very closely. How do I use the principle of vibration to live my best life, to attract more wealth, happiness, love, peace, health? Because I know about the power of the word. That's the power of vibration. How you speak to someone, you can heal them or hurt them. The vibration. It's not about what you say, it's about the energy behind it. Sound vibrations govern everything in this 3D reality. You turn on the radio, you listen to music, this in turn affects your DNA. It can heal your DNA, it can heal your DNA, or it can hurt your DNA. 440 hertz is hurting the planet because it's out of tune with your DNA. 432 hertz is the natural frequency of planet Earth because it's linked to the 8 hertz Schumann resonance, which is the electromagnetic beat of the planet. So when you learn about the principle of vibration, you can heal yourself with music. Ever had a sound bath, deep divers? Best thing ever. You close your eyes and it feels like you're in, you, it feels like you're in Nirvana. And you are. <laughs> so if you start vibrating on a higher frequency, your entire life will change because it's all vibration. If you listen to music on a higher frequency, your life will change because it's all vibration. 
So you have to move to a higher vibration to enjoy a better life. And a simple way I do this is by coming out into nature with a Picasso shirt on Deep Divers. Okay, do you know that each one of these colors carries a different vibration? Right? Carries a different vibration. And every color, every sound has a vibration, has a mood, has a tone. So learn that you can heal yourself with the correct vibrations by tuning music to the right frequency, which will transmit the right vibration that can heal yourself and promote health within yourself. Deep divers, what is the fourth? Oh, baby. Principle, hermetic principle, okay? From the Kabbalion, from the Emerald Tablets. Shout out to Thoth. Shout out to Hermes, Trismegistus, three times great, okay? <laughs> it is the principle of polarity. Now, what is this principle all about? How can it help us in a practical way? Ralph, I don't want to hear about ancient wisdom. How can it help me in my day-to-day -day life? I've got bills to pay, Ralph. Can you stop shaking me? Look, deep divers. The principle of polarity states this, that everything is dual. Everything has an opposite. They knew this as well, that polarity, it's hot, cold, yin, yang. But guess what? They are all one in the same. Like and unlike are the same. Extremes meet. Opposites are identical in nature. Yes, they are. But they are different in degree. So when you learn that on all planes, you have this principle of polarity, as good as you are, you will meet someone just as wicked on another pole. Someone who is super kind has an opposite of someone who is really unkind. Someone who is full of joy has an opposite somewhere in time and space who is full of misery. Someone who loves to help people has an opposite somewhere in time and space of someone who wants to destroy people. So this principle of polarity exists everywhere out there, but also inside of us. Polarity can be seen in left hand, right hand. I'm left handed, by the way. Polarity can be seen in left brain hemisphere, right brain hemisphere. Polarity can be seen in black and white. <laughs> but they are one in the same. Two sides of the same coin. Polarity can be seen in the battery. Now, this is how to use polarity to change your life. Deep divers, listen up. Now, take a battery and the human body, human being is a spiritual battery. And that's why it's so important for you to learn how to cleanse your aura, for you to learn how to recharge this battery so you can become your greatest version. Now, if you look at a battery, it has negative and positive. Negative on this side, positive on that side. That's the principle of polarity but it's the one force. Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. So polarity, we see negative and positive, good, bad, but it's all the same thing. So when you realize that you also have polarity within yourself, but you have to make sure that you are the head of everything. You have to make sure that you have harmony within that separation, that difference. There is harmony. 
That's how to use polarity to become your greatest version. So sometimes you can be full of warmth and then you can say, actually, I want to be a bit, I want to be a bit cold today. Right? That's polarity. You have to learn how to create versatility in your emotions to realize that actually I can be happy and sad in the same day at the same time. Oh, yes. Deep divers. What is the fifth? Oh, baby. <laughs> Hermetic principle that will help you become your greatest version, live your best life that will make you wealthier, healthier, happier. It is the principle of rhythm. What they knew in ancient Egypt, in the mystery schools, was that in this universe, everything has a rhythm. They knew that there were divine cycles. Ladies, you know about, you know about the cycle. Fellas, you know about the cycle. You know about the seasons. Nothing is random in this universe. Everything is happening in divine order. I always say there are no accidents or coincidences. Everything is happening in divine order. So when I say, and this is how you use the principle of rhythm to live your best life, to change your life, to attract wealth, financial independence, love, happiness, peace of mind, you realize that just because something is not happening for you right now, it doesn't mean it won't happen for you. Just because something isn't happening for you right now, it doesn't mean it won't happen for you. You have to be patient and you have to trust the timing of your life. When you learn that rhythm governs everything. When people are happy, what happens? Hey, they do a little dance. They are now a representation of the principle of rhythm in physical form. Listen very closely. The pendulum swing manifests itself in everything. The measure of the pendulum to the right is the same as the measure to the left. Rhythm compensates. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Right, you just look at the pendulum. Back and forth. Rhythm compensates. Rhythm is in everything. A great musical piece, we often say, oh, it has a great rhythm to it because rhythm means harmony. So when you learn to have a greater rhythm within yourself, you will become your greatest version. You will start to manifest. When you are more in tune with your circadian rhythm, when you are going to bed at a good time that works for you, when you are waking up to your natural rhythm, you will become your greatest version. There's actually a great book, Deep Divers, called Lights Out, which spoke about how with the rise of modern electricity, there was a rise in mental health because we aren't supposed to be living with all of this artificial technology. We aren't supposed to be sleeping with our mobile phones. We aren't supposed to be having all of this artificial lights around us. We're supposed to be waking with the sun, and going to bed at sunrise because that's the rhythm of the universe. Can I get a hello? There's even a rhythm to me saying, can I get a hello? It's like, can I get a hello there? <laughs> Deep divers, what's the sixth? Oh, baby. Hermetic principle that will help you become your greatest version that will help you live your best life, that will make you wealthier, healthier. Do a little samba, baby. It is the principle of gender. What did Hermes Trismegistus know? That gender is in everything. 
You see, in the Emerald Tablets, we learn this from ancient Egypt, that feminine and masculine are one and the same, just different in degree. We all start off as females, deep divers. That's a biological fact. <laughs> Realize this, that feminine and masculine can be found in everything, even in music. It can be found in nature. It could be found, it can be found in clothing. It can be found in changing rooms, right? <laughs> It can be found in food. It can be found in science. It can be found in, mathema in mathematics. It can be found in literature. Okay, it can be found in words. That's why in Spanish, okay, the A is for the female, O for the masculine, same as in Portuguese, right? So it can be found in language masculine and feminine it can be found in the weather the sun is the masculine energy the moon and the rain well let's just say the moon is the feminine energy the rain or the semen we're getting deep deep divers literally is the masculine energy and the earth is the feminine energy. That's why the semen impregnates the earth and we get flowers. Can I get a hello? <laughs> that is the principle of gender. Okay, gender is in everything. I am masculine, but I am also feminine. We often think of being a macho man is all about being tough, tough, tough. Deep divers, I am that, but I'm also soft because I've learned how to fuse the masculine and the feminine together. So a lot of women say, Ralph, I'm, I'm just searching for my prince, right? You have to become your own twin flame. You have to realize that what you're actually searching for is the masculine energy which is already inside of you. Fellas, if you're searching for that really beautiful princess, so soft and sweet, she also exists within you as the feminine energy. Once you reconnect with your feminine energy, fellas, fellas, guys, you will become more whole within yourself. You will become more complete within yourself, okay? Gender is in everything. Deep divers, what's the seventh hermetic principle? Oh, baby! <laughs> that can change your life forever. Cause and effect. This is what Thoth knew about This is what they knew about in the Emerald Tablets, that every action has a reaction. Every cause has an effect and every effect has a cause. Nothing is random. Everything happens for a reason. Ladies, didn't your grandma tell you that? Yes, Ralph, how did you know? I just knew, right? Anything you do, deep divers, has a consequence. Now, how can we use this in a practical way to change our lives for the better, to live a better life, to attract more happiness, wealth, abundance, love, peace, freedom, joy, and compassion? Realize that you have to be responsible for the energy you emit to the world, for the energy you send out, because the same energy you put out there will be the same energy that comes back to you. Just like, a, oh my gosh, like a boomerang. Can I get a hello? <laughs> That's why Marcus Aurelius said, what we do now echoes on into eternity. Cause and effect. Now, to really use this in a practical way, realize that 
You can do something today, deep divers, that your future self will thank you for. Now you are actually putting the law of cause and effect into practical use. What I do now, later on down the line, I'll be grateful I did it right now, okay? So that's how you use cause and effect. Be mindful of the words you use to someone. How you speak to someone. Always make sure your words pass through three gates. Is it kind? Is it necessary? Is it true? Mm. What? Slow motion this side. Mm. Because once again, your words have an effect on someone else. And that will affect your relationship with them. So if you can, make sure you seek to uplift people because that same energy will come back to you. When we lift up other people, we are actually lifting up ourselves. So there you have it, deep divers. And let me just say this about the principle of polarity. It also states that all truths are half-truths. And all paradoxes may be reconciled. All truths being half-truths. Like, it's all about how you see this thing. That's the principle of polarity. I had to say that, okay? Because a good day to you may look like a bad day for me. <laughs> okay? So there you have it, deep divers. That's how to use the seven hermetic principles to change your life from the emerald tablets, the Kabbalion, Hermes, thank you. Thoth, thank you. Cat down the road, thank you. And that's why I'm just saying, feels so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? <laughs> Beautiful deep divers. We're just, whoa, breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Let me just say that again. Feels so good to be alive, baby. <laughs> Shout out to everybody who's been getting the amazing good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash close got a question for me deep divers add me on instagram at infinite waters and you are a sexy ass model whoa with a lot of heart add me on instagram at infinite waters show me what you got oh i love this one ralph well check out the new book deep divers for more information like this feel alive by ralph smart on amazon the truth the truth shall set you free deep divers have a beautiful day peace infinite waters diving deep once again stay well stay healthy peace you now i'm just gonna get high again Woo. Of that good ass prana, baby. Peace.